Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to reverse things. Now we're given a graph and we're supposed to find the equation of the line. We know that the general form of the equation is going to look like this. y equals mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So the first thing you want to do is find the y-intercept and it's clearly seen on here. We see that the line crosses the y-axis when y equals 4. So this is the point 0, 4. The x-coordinate of that point is 0. The y-coordinate of the point is 4. So therefore we can see that b equals 4. These little dots right there, that little triangle shape uh, made from dots, that means therefore b equals 4. We draw the conclusion. And so we can then plug that into our equation. And so now our equation becomes y equals mx plus 4. So the only other thing we need to do now is find the slope. We know that m is equal to the slope, which is equal to the change in, uh, or we could say the rise over the run, let's write it as the rise over the run, which is equal to the change in y over the change in x. The little triangles means change in. So I need to travel from one point on the line to another point of the line to the right. So it's important that we travel from one point to the other point, moving to the right. So I'll take this point right here, and notice they gave us another point right here. That point is the point four, zero. So, therefore we can write that the slope is equal to the change in y. The change in y is the change in the vertical direction. I started at y equals four here, and at the other point, y equals zero. So the change is from 4 to 0, or the second point minus the first point. So I can say that this is y2 minus y1, and divide by x2 minus x1. So this is my first point, point 1. This is my second point, point 2. And so this here is my x2, y2 coordinates. And over here, this is my x1, y1 coordinates, like that. And so therefore, to find the slope, I take the y value from my second point and subtract the y value from the first point. Notice that it really makes sense to label your points like that. And again, it doesn't matter if you let this be point two and that point one makes no difference. Either one works, but you want to label them. And so now you can simply plug in the values. y2 is zero minus y1, which is four. Divided by x2, which is four, minus x1, which is 0. So this is equal to, and let me erase part of that line there, minus 4 divided by 4. Now, notice that, again, the slope is the rise over the run, and notice the rise is actually negative, which means we dropped in height, went from a higher point to a lower point, so the rise is essentially a drop, it's a negative rise, and notice the run is from here to here, which is a run of 4. So negative drop of 4 and a run of 4, well, that gives us negative 4 over, over 4, that's equal to negative 1. So this becomes a slope. A negative slope simply means that the line goes down to the right instead of up to the right. And so now we can go ahead and take that result and plug it in here. And now we have y equals negative 1x plus 4, or you could simply write y equals negative x plus 4. We don't have to write the 1. And there, that's the equation of the line that we were looking for based upon what was given to us graphically. And that's pretty well the methodology. You first find the y-intercept, you plug that in, and then to find the slope. If you have another point on the line, then you find the difference in the y-values, the difference in the x-values, take that ratio, and that's your slope. And that is how it's done.